okay, let's go through how to use Parler. Parler is the replacement for Twitter. Millions upon millions are leaving hourly and daily towards Parler. Parler is like a uh, Twitter on steroids. You can do a lot more, have a lot more on it. Um, it's also a, a, it could be a replacement for Facebook, but it doesn't quite have all the bells and whistles. So it's kind of like a Facebook, Twitter combination as if those two companies had a kid. And the kid was allowed to run free without censorship and no one stole their data and sold it. That's pretty much what Parler is. Parler, there's no censorship, no uh, social media police. There's no um, trying to tell you what to believe, what not to believe. There's a level of uh, tolerance where you can believe whatever you want based on your worldview, regardless of uh, where you are in in a political leaning or anything else. I mean, my goodness, you could be, you know, anything and uh, say whatever and, and you're pretty much okay. So that's great. Uh, Parler is uh, the replacement for Twitter and partly for Facebook. And then MeWe, which I'll get into in a second, is the replacement for Facebook. It's uh, set up more like a, a friendly um, Facebook type platform. But once again, they do not sell your data. They don't share your data. They don't follow you and stalk you like Facebook and Twitter does. And of course, they uh, um, do not censor you. So you can believe what you want. When you put out a post on MeWe, it will actually uh, go to all your followers and everyone. It won't just go to who you, the algorithms decide on, which is really nice. I've had posts on Facebook where I'll post a funny picture of a dog or a cat and get tens or dozens or hundreds of likes and comments. And then I'll post something um, that's uh, slightly political, even just a slight touch political. And it will um, only get like three likes and no comments. Um, I can tell you right now, I guarantee you, based on the analysis of the log, uh, the algorithms and watching the traffic flow and everything, which you can use uh, devices and apps to look at the traffic flow and who's looking at what. Based on all of that raw data, um, you can see that they censor everything that they don't like. So Facebook and Twitter, they're ran and owned by far left progressives, which once again, I believe they have every right to believe what they believe. What I don't think they have a right to do is tell others not to believe what they want to believe. And if they don't comply or bow a knee to their belief, then they censor you. That's why everyone is leaving their platform. People are not leaving Facebook or Twitter because they don't like differing opinions. Don't let anyone fool you. People are leaving by the tens of millions for one reason. They're sick of being told they're not allowed to believe the way they believe. They're sick of being censored. Just like when Hitler took over Germany and started killing the Jews, he started simply in the classroom and he burned the book. Right now, we're in an electronic version of burning of the books. On the far left top, on the three lines, that's where you go and control all your settings. On the top profile, click on profile. You can set up your profile. Um, what I would say is on the once you're in here on the top right, um, you see that sprocket, that settings. You click on that. You can adjust everything. Um, make sure your name is your actual name, not your handle. Your name and your display name should be different. Your name should be your actual, actual name, like my dog's name, uh, Frank, which is my black and tan uh, wiener dog. His name is Frank Furter Walsh. Frank Furter, get it? Your name should be your name, Frank Furter or Frank Walsh, and then display name could be Frank Walsh or Frank the Wiener Dog, or whatever. You know, that's your handle. And then a little bio. And then you go back. That is your... Profile moderation. Next one down, you can review comments. You can see what's approved, not approved, everything like that. 
I have most things going to auto approve approving, uh, or I can go down and literally approve um, what people are saying. And then of course I will go through this later. As I go through my timeline, I can't keep up with all this. I'm getting so many hits and, and stuff like that. It's ridiculous. Okay. Then muted spam. I don't have any of that. Word filters. You can filter things out. Uh, if you have a certain word you don't want to appear in your timeline, like let's say you hate Trump, you could put Trump in there or Biden or whatever. I don't do that kind of stuff. I just look at whatever and if I don't agree with it, I don't agree. And if I do, I do. And no big deal. People are allowed to believe what they believe. Um, on the moderation, I have auto approve for things so it automatically appears. Settings, um, right there is what that was. Then I block people. I don't block people. I don't mute people. I let people have their own uh, views, and I uh, respect that with uh, civility. Uh, next one down would be uh, settings and privacy. You can set your privacy. I keep mine to public. You can make it private. I don't like that. I like it public and everything, so I'm notified. Then you have um, your edit profile, of course. You have security, two-step authentication. Um, you really don't have to mess with really any of this stuff to be set up. Notifications, I would say you might want to play with this. If you have a lot of people you're following and a lot of followers, if you don't have a little bit of a handle on this, you're going to get bombarded by literally thousands of posts. And so you got to understand how to control this. So you have daily, daily highlights, parlays, which is a tweet, a parlay, when someone posts something, and you could shut that on or off. And then you can have votes when someone votes up or down for you or echoes your uh, parlay. Um, when someone comments a reply, comment up vote, comment, comment down vote, that is a thumbs up or thumbs down or new followers. So I have an all on so that I can get them all. Uh, primary color, you click on that, and you can choose whatever color you want your background to be. So you can make it all over the place. I like mine a little bit lighter, nice color. I'll just go a little bit like that. That's a really nice color right there. There you go. Uh, you can, I don't know, that's a little too bright. Let's go a little bit calmer on that. A little out of control. Okay. So that's that. Uh, new post alignment video autoplay. I don't like my videos to play automatically. It's automatically defaulted to off, which I like. Legal, you can go through all that. Read the small print. Okay, next one down would be switch accounts. You can have multiple accounts. I have mine talks with Trevor. Please add me to your people you follow and share my content. That's how I get followers, and I love to uh, make new friends and have people I can talk to and discuss and uh, issues with, and I'm someone that respects all opinions. Um, I don't believe in insulting people, uh, just to have an open, good, strong debate uh, between people that believe what they believe. Um, but you can add business parlays and all this other kind of stuff. So you can have multiple accounts. Let's say you have three or four businesses like I do and, and stuff like that. You could have one for each one. And it might be something I do later on. Uh, verification, you can click on that. I am a verified member, uh, meaning that I, I did what I was supposed to do. I think you had to, if I remember right, you had to take a picture of your ID and everything, prove you're real and not some robot. Uh, verification feedback, you can report feedback and they'll get right back to you. Share a parlor, you can copy the link and share it with whoever you want or you can add it, put it on Facebook or whatever. So let's do that one more time. So you go to the three lines on the top, you hit share parlor and you can go to Facebook news media and you could share it right there. I'm not going to do it because I've already done it before. And that is about it. Then you can log out on the very bottom left. It looks like a Mariners, Seattle Mariners emblem. That's your light dark theme. I prefer dark. Okay. On the very bottom, you have four buttons. The first one is your home button, which is your timeline. 
you know, and you just see your timeline. Good to go. Next one over is your Discover News. You can, you know, kind of keep up with whatever's going on in, in the world, different news affiliates and everything, partners, and then you have affiliates, which is really cool. And then third one over on the right is your notifications. And here you, uh, I try to keep up every hour or two. Um, otherwise, I get hundreds and hundreds of these things. Um, and then anyone that follows me, I follow them back. So let's say uh, Charlie Kirk of Turning Point. I want to follow. Right now, I'm just going to show you what it's like if I unfollowed him. So let's say he started following me and I want to follow him. I just click follow. And now I'm following him. And then once I've made sure I'm following everyone and I've went through whatever I wanted to look at in clear all. Sorry, that's my Zoom. Now no content found. Now it will just keep filling up and I keep track of it. Last one on the bottom. This is really cool. You can look up whatever you want. So you could say, I don't know, White House. So you can just see the different things here. Anyways, that's that. You can go through and you can follow whatever you want, you know. That comes up with White House. And hashtags, you could put in whatever you want. So let's say you want to follow uh, Biden, anything that has the word Biden in it. Uh, if I spelled it right, that would be good. Biden, 91,000 posts. Click on that hashtag. You'll see every single post. Every single thread, every single parlay, or would be called a tweet on Twitter, um, every single one that has his name, his hashtag in it. So you can follow all of that, which is really cool. That's really it for uh, Parlor. Um, that's how it works. And it's uh, really neat because it's not censored. They don't sell your data or anything like that. I would share it with everyone and get everyone on it. It's really cool. You can follow who you want. If you don't like people you're following, just unfollow them. It's as simple as that. Um, and share my share my video with everyone so they understand how to use this thing. So now let's go to, make sure my Zoom is still recording. Now let's go to how to use MeWe. MeWe is very straightforward. It's like Facebook. You can do videos, pictures, vacations with your family, all kinds of fun stuff. I'm part of uh, dog groups and cat groups and um, political stuff and some great music uh, groups. RV groups because we camp all the time. So anyways, pretty cool. I love it. It's a great site. They don't censor anything, so when you put something out, everyone actually sees it. So how to use it? On the bottom left, home, that's your home. Obviously, that's your uh, timeline. Next one over is the little stars. You can go through all the new posts in the different groups you're part of. Let's just go dismiss all, so they're out of our way for right now. Now you can look at uh, the communities that are, on, that are out there. Let's just look at must love dogs, because who doesn't love looking at dogs? Look at those guys. Just adorable. Dogs are the greatest things ever that God created and gave us. Look at that guy. Just love him. He just wants a big kiss. And no politics, no virus. Just a lab's nose that I kiss all the time. Look at him. Anyways, simple. So you can then uh, go down and you can find and browse all kinds of groups. Uh, you name it, you can find it. Third one over on the bottom is chat. I don't have any right now. I've already went through them and responded to all of them. Uh, but this is where people will maybe chat with you or hit you with an instant messenger or something like that. Fourth one over is notification. Um, this one right here I haven't seen yet. And, yeah, it's just a poll I did. Um, and just all your notifications and stuff like that. Bottom right is your more. That's your little bit of info on you. 
your help center, your privacy bill of rights. Right in the middle of contacts, add and invite friends. You click on that. You can share invite link right there. Click on that. You can put it on Facebook. See, add Trevor as a friend on MeWe. I'll discard that because I've already done it. Cool. Anyways, that's how it works. And uh, you can also share and invite your friends and copy the link. And then put it anywhere you want. So you could then go to Facebook and go like that. And it's going to do the same thing. I'm going to discard that. I don't need to do that. And that is how that works. Now, here's the important thing. On this page, when you're on the bottom right, it says more. On the top right, the second button over the icon, the, the sprocket, right there, you click that. You have all the information on how to set everything up, your account and your push notifications, uh, what you want to see, when you want to see them, you know, so you don't get over overwhelmed, your email notifications, your feed preferences, how you want your timeline to appear, what you want to appear first, what you don't want to appear uh, first, all that kind of stuff, chat requests um, are on, so they can send you chat requests, privacy and sharing. It lets you decide who can send you stuff, Privacy and sharing, uh, feedback, if you want to give the app creators some feedback about, which is the open source libraries for MeWe. And then themes right there is uh, what kind of themes you want for your uh, background and everything. I have the dark theme, which I enjoy. And then batches. Um, if you are like me and you pay the four ninety nine a month, $4.99, then you're able to have every single feature available and you don't have your data stolen or, or sold to the highest bidder all the time like Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and Google does all the time with all your data. They sell it to everyone, guys. I mean, they literally treat us like a piece of meat. They sell your data over and over and over again. It's no coincidence that when you say something like, man, I think I might want to look for a new bicycle, all of a sudden, everywhere you look on Facebook and Google, there's ads for new bicycles. If you think that's a coincidence, you're a fool. Those are algorithms and artificial intelligence working for Facebook and Twitter and Google to lead you in a direction they want to lead you in. It's all about control. All of it. That's why people have went to MeWe and Parler and Rumble for uh, video platforms because they want to get away from the control. I'm a premium badge holder, meaning I pay my $4.99 and I have all the features. So that, that's it, guys. Um, if you have any questions or whatever, uh, hit me up. Hopefully that kind of explains how things work. It, it, they're pretty simple platforms. Download them on um, iTunes or uh, Google uh, Play Store. And, uh, yeah, have fun. Get back to me. Let me know how you like this video if they helped you out. Thank you very much.